cruise ship passenger is the first coronavirus death in California. Now, many other Californians who are on that ship are also at risk. And all of California in a declared state of emergency tonight. Well, this comes as L.A. County reports six new cases, including a medical screener working at LAX. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with KCAL Line's Stacey Butler live in Long Beach with details about that cruise ship and why there are concerns about the passengers on it right now. Stacey. Yeah, Susie, that cruise ship, the same one, was supposed to dock here at the Port of Los Angeles three weeks from today. Well, of course, that's not going to happen now. The big question is what happened to the 2,500 passengers who were on board? Governor Gavin Newsom just told us tonight that they were all from California. The individual that passed away in Placer County uh, was on a cruise. Prompting the governor to call a state of emergency, the coronavirus has now claimed its first death in the state, a man in his 70s from Northern California. The CDC says he just returned from Mexico aboard the Grand Princess cruise ship that left San Francisco February 11th, stopped at four ports in Mexico, then returned to San Francisco February 21st. He and most of the other passengers got off the ship, but 62 remained on board to cruise to the Hawaiian Islands. The ship stopped at four ports there. Tonight, that ship is docked off the coast of Northern California until passengers and crew are tested for COVID-19. In a statement just issued from Princess Cruises, a spokesperson said, in an abundance of caution, these guests and other potential close crew contacts have been asked to remain in their staterooms until screened by our onboard medical team. The safety, health, and well-being of our guests and crew is always our top priority. Tonight, many are stocking up on the essentials, emptying shelves at Target, a vice Isopropyl alcohol, hand sanitizer, and toilet paper, preparing for the outbreak as it moves closer to home. I stocked up on kids' cough syrup. I stocked up on flu symptom stuff and Motrin, just so that if it does happen, we'll have it on hand. So I have some antibacterial multi-surface cleaner, so just to be safe. Are you buying any kind of hand sanitizers or disinfectant? No, because there's none to be had. The shelves are empty. And the governor also said tonight that the CDC is carefully tracking down every one of those 2,500 passengers to make sure that they get tested for the coronavirus. That's the latest from Long Beach. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Stacy, thank you.